Welcome to this Wednesday runes reading for this week, uh, May 1st, till next week, May 7th. So, since we are in the beginning of May, I'm going to do a regular reading. And I'm also going to pick up uh, buying runes for the month of May. So, are you ready? Let's see what Odin have in store for us this week. Let's begin. Okay, so the first rune is La Goose and its reverse. So this room is about traveling and moving. It's the room of woman. It's related to water and going back to the source. It's also the symbol of intuition and consciousness. Love. If you're in a relationship, you and your partner are moving far away from each other. The physical distance brings the, um, the distance of the heart. So you need to get closer to your partner. But also, if you're always together, it would be a good thing to put a little space between of you. Now, it can mean either uh, take a vacation, maybe a weekend for yourself, or, excuse me, maybe if you can't um, get away from your partner, let's say, um, just take maybe an hour or two to listen to a movie in uh, your room or in a place in your home, that you won't be um, disturbed either by the kids or your partner. Love. You are feeling like your money are going away from you. You're spending way much more than you're uh, gaining. So now it's the time to stop spending your money around in some things that you don't need or that you can't afford and if you had planned some vacation well it's not a good time for you to go away because you will be getting into debt so maybe change your plans and for example instead of traveling in another country um, maybe do some camping in a park in your area or in a camping site or even put uh, a tent in your yard and pretend like you're in a campaign that can be as good and it will cost really less you won't be in debt and it will be better for you work if you were about to uh, go travel for uh, your job it might be canceled um, follow your intuition if you don't want to get caught in bad situation in your work area there might be uh, some risk about a contract and a failure. Health. Mm, you might have some problems with your memory or you're feeling like um, your mind is tired and not as... Um, how can I say that? Um, it feels like 
you're being a little slower so take some time to rest and it should get a little better okay so the next one it's gebo Okay, so this rune is about a gift. Um, remember that when you are giving something, it's a way to give a part of yourself. It can be a simple gift, sharing something, or even a sacrifice. Now remember, by sacrifice, I don't mean to kill uh, some animals or something like that no no i'm just saying that maybe um you will stop let's say taking some coffee for a couple of days just to maybe help someone you know um with going through a hard time so you will give them that money for a couple of days let's say and that's a way to sacrifice yourself to help someone. Also, remember that when you receive, can also be uh, some gain, some sharing from someone, or a sacrifice from them. Love. You might receive a gift or a beautiful love declaration. Your relationship is based on action that will um, make you happy. You might meet your soulmate. Or maybe you're feeling like you're giving too much of yourself and you suffer from it. So stop to um, see what everyone else is doing wrong. And try to balance that and see that maybe uh, you can also be part of the problem it's not all on them money you might win or receive some money that will be welcome it's either time to play but remember if you have a gambling problem don't do it or if someone is owning you some money maybe you should go and ask them for it uh, also someone might ask you for money so if you have it maybe share with them if not well maybe try to help them uh, find a way to get that money work you might receive the job that you were dreaming. Uh, take it. A good project will be um, proposed to you. You will be the right person to get that opportunity. Help. Uh, finally, some solutions are coming to help you with your health problems. Maybe you have discovered a new uh, health program. If so, well, now it's time to test it. It can only bring you some um, good uh, results. Also, if someone closer to you is having some health problem, it's time to, to be courageous and act and try to help them now this can mean uh, try to bring them to the doctors uh, help them um, with groceries if they have kids maybe um, take the kids with you for let's say a day so that they can rest uh, offer them to help with some uh, chores things like that Okay, and the last one for this week. It's 
it's in goose. Now this is the room that it's about some new beginnings and it's telling you also that it's the end of a cycle. It's the birth either of a project or an action that is coming to life. It's the end of a tunnel, then when we get out of it, um, we see the light that is strong. It's also the end of a difficult cycle and the healing that's coming from it. Love. You will finally enter in a new era in which one your love relationship will bring you happiness. There might be the birth of a baby. There can be a wedding. You can move with your partner. But then again, if you're feeling like you uh, are going in circle in your relationship, maybe now it's time to break up and move uh, your way. Money. It's the end of recession. You will see good things coming in your financial situation. If you made some investment, they will be honest and well balanced. Work. You were waiting for a long time for a promotion, a raise. Well, there you are. You're finally there and you will harvest what you deserve. Your project will see the light of the day and you will get some good and positive energy for your success. Help. Healing is there and it's waiting with open arms. You have to take care of your body and your mind starting right now if you want to keep your good health okay so this was the rune reading now i'm gonna pick up either a rune or bind rune for the month of may so let's see what it's gonna be for this month Okay, so this bind room, it's about eliminating obstacle in your way. Now I'm going to put it just right here. Okay, so oh, we don't see it. Wait a minute. Okay, I'm going to put it like that. Okay, so as I was saying, um, if there's some obstacle in your life right now, whether it's in your love situation, work situation, uh, in your family even, um, this month will be a good month to work on it, on everything that is blocking your way to have a happy life. So, for example, if there is some fighting in your family, there will be a good time to talk to the person that is um, getting in the way of everything that um, should go well. So, what I say by that is that if, for example, uh, a family member is telling you that um, they don't want you in their life and this and this and that. Now it's a good time to go see them and maybe have a good talk with them. Ask them why. See if you can work something out with them. If not, well, let it go. At least you will have tried and... 
this month will be the perfect month for that same goes for um, your home if you want a better home well it's time to take everything that is blocking you from getting it so whether it's a money problem um, you don't find the right home for you things like that so for example if it's just a money problem take a good look at how you spend your money and try to put some aside small things like that can make a big difference also manifest um, that the obstacles in your way are going to um, let's say burn melt okay so imagine that you're putting the obstacle in a big fire and that and then that when it's melting you can move forward and uh, do what you have to do to have the good life that you want and that you deserved now it's not gonna be always easy but start working on it uh, make some plans if you have to uh, do a list if you should for example uh, try to continue or to stop and move um, forward but yeah work on all that is blocking you can also be something that um, blocking you from being happy but that you're the one that doing the, that doing it for yourself so for example um, stop living in the past try to move forward um, small things like that but that can be making a big difference for you so thank you for joining me this was this week rune reading i wish you all a happy and blessed odin's day and a wonderful rest of the week and month of may thank you